Did you did you notice the difference? Yeah, but I couldn't do this for you now. Really? Like six, seven, eight years ago. No, wow. It's aggressive, bro. Really? But he's what the camera, what, what is he staring at before? That's what I'd be like, that's how it would be. We'll be talking, but my eyes would be like, why is he watching me? Serious. Even though he's doing the camera. I'd be like, nah, he's looking at me funny, though. Like, Yo, you're right, bro. That's just how I was all the time. Really? Just ready to go at everything. So, did you have like psychologist helps and that? Uh, I never wanted one. Never wanted one. Never wanted one. I remember with England, a lot of the boys had like psychologists, and I just thought, you know what? Because you know what I used to do? I used to just go on YouTube sometimes mm -hmm. and I'd watch like uh, different athletes. Okay. I remember I watched a lot of stuff on Floyd. Yeah. And I'd watch like, I'd just type in Floyd Mayweather inspirational stuff or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. And I'll see like the way he speaks, the mindset, the journey, like, mm. and all that sort of stuff. And I'll just take a lot from that. Yeah, yeah. Instead of me sort of like paying someone to sort of like, and I'm not saying it's, a, it's bad having them because I know a lot of athletes have, mm -hmm. um, but I just felt like instead of doing that, I can try and sort of like do it myself. What about you? Have you ever worked with a, a psychologist or? Bro, I need one daily, man. Jesus. Man, so um, I need one daily. No, I got, I, oh, one of mine, I'm on like my seventh one now, but the one, the one I got introduced to was uh, Prof Dr. Prof Professor Tim O'Brien, worked at Arsenal under Invincibles and then Arteta had him back. He was on all of the all or nothings. Bro, so Yeah, I think sick. I saw, yeah, yeah, I saw it. So sick. Is he good, yeah? Yeah, because he's just he like- He must be, he's got a long name. Uh, governor, bro. The, and when you're a doctor, it's like- Yeah, doctor, must a be professor. Like... Yeah, he's, he's a governor. Um, but he's like, he used to just do stuff, yeah. Like when he first came in at Watford, he was, um, We'd failed two years before, like back end of the season, last 10 games, we'd lose. Yeah. We'd, we'd, dr we'd dry out and we couldn't win. We'd draw four, lose mm. two, get one win kind of thing. Yeah. And he was like, they brought him in, but we all had to chat to him. And anyway, first time I go in, I'm chatting to him, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you're a big lad, aren't you? So he said that to the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, who are you talking to? Yeah. He said, no, no, just most footballers are a bit, you know, you're quite big, aren't you? I was like, nah. This guy just put it on you like, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. like, he's a little, little Irish white fella, about 50s. And I was like, he looks like my nana he's talking to me like this. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I've just come in captive for the myself. But he's like, yeah, so uh, where are you from? So I talked about, so I talked about Birmingham, so I talked about, he was from Birmingham as well, blah, blah, blah. Hour and a half goes by. Right, oh, he's like, oh, yeah, sorry to call you, got a goal now, it's like five o'clock. Wow. But I'm in every Thursday and Friday. We could chat. If you want to chat, we could. My office is always open. Wow. But I went home that night, yeah. Slept like a baby. Because all we'd spoke about for an hour was just life and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't realize because I was so angry all the time. Because obviously, you're carrying the family troubles and whatever life issues. And then every, for like that year of getting promoted and the next three years, I spoke to him every Friday before I used to go to the Grove or go to a hotel. Mm. But he used to say to me, come with a, 1.5 litre water, drink that through throughout our session and at the end, get another one and drink again because I used to have mad headaches and that. But he'd be like, hydrated. just, yeah, but I was letting all this like stuff off. Really? But then he was just talking, I'm working on your game. What would you think like, you said to me, like, what do you think when, when you step out three o'clock Saturday, what do you, how do you feel when you stood in the tunnel? I'm like, I'm ready. Anger. It's game that? time, yeah. Right. He's like, nah, nah, you're telling me like, what, is, what, what are you feeling? I was like, yeah, anger, rage. Rage, yeah. Like, someone's getting it. He's like, we got to bring that down, bro. It's not good for you. Because when he's gone through my life, he's And no like, one's ever said that to you before. Nah, never. That's but what I'm like, saying. My yeah. life was like, when I'm around family, people pee, pee me off, so anger. Anger, So yeah. I'm always up here. Mm. So he's like, that's why when you crash, you crash hard. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you're always up here. So he just brought me back down to level. So for me, it was sick, but... Obviously, it's becoming more wow. of a thing you can talk about. Yeah, now, I think right? that, yeah, I think there was one at Bournemouth. Yeah, Dave, and there was a guy at um, at Rangers who just it went like a session, just natural, just had a conversation yeah, yeah. with him and Sit that. Sit down at dinner. Yeah, and, and, stuff. I, and, I, and, I, and I and I and I and I thought, and he was at Leicester to be fair. And I thought, you're good, you know, because it's almost like having conversations that you not you don't normally have with people. Yeah, yeah just challenging and it. Just yeah, throw sort of that. Yeah, there. like do you know what I mean, but it's uh, nah, man, it's. Good. I thought it was good as well with him. He said on day one. I ain't here for the manager. Wow. You know, like just dispelled that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure that. if I'm going to tell him I'm struggling because I might get me dropped on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. 
everything you say here stays, stays here. here. That's, I'm that's legally good. bound to not say that. And you're like, oh, kind of. Then you just, I was the first one in, and it was like five lads. Mm. And it was like eight lads. And before you know, by the end of the season, it was like 24 lads going in there. So after that conversation, you know when he said to you about like, um, we need to get rid of that a little bit, mm. that anger. Did you, did you notice the difference? Yeah. But I couldn't do this for you now. Really? Like six, seven, eight years ago. Not wow. Now. It's aggressive, bro. Really? But like he's got the camera. What you, what is he staring at before? That's what I'd be like. That's how it would be. We'll be talking, but my eyes would be like, why is he watching me? Serious. Even though he's doing the camera. I'd be like, nah, he's looking at me funny though. Like, Yo, you're right, bro. That's just how I was all the time. Really? Just ready to go at everything. So, I, you know, the, the psychologist takes it. Because she's in the building, I'll give her credit as well. The new missus has put me in a place as well. Got me in headlock a few times and said... And you can't do nothing because nah, we have to listen. Said, yeah, steady our little man. <laughs> little man as well. <laughs> told me to behave. And uh, nah, it's all good. But I'm just in a happier place in life. And it will just... Yeah, I think that understanding helps. Understanding it. I think you have to understand feelings as well. I'm from a place where there's no feelings. Mm. You don't cry. You don't no, get no, sick. No. You just... No, no. Do what you but you know do. what Shaq said? When he said something, right? And it's quite powerful. Someone said to him about like, um, like, do you cry or something like that? He said, cry? Mm -hmm. He said, I ain't got time to cry. Mm -hmm. He said, how have I got time to cry? So I've got people that rely on me. Yeah. I've got to look after my mum. Mm -hmm. I've got to look after my kids. I've got to look after my wife. I've got no time to feel anything. Exactly. And then, and then I think the person that asked him the question probably thought, that's quite, that's, well, that's quite sad actually. Yeah. Because yeah. you're human at the end of the day. Of course. Do you know what I'm saying? It's almost like, and men anyway, we bottle things up. Definitely. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's Not where, everyone. So like, yeah. but, but that's, that's where it went with me. There was so much like pressure that I probably put on myself really. Yeah. You know, football now in the limelight, earning more than yeah. anyone's ever earned in my family. Yeah. I, we've all got to live like this. We've all got to be that way. Yeah. And then you just, you just put more pressure on yourself than it, than it needs to be.